good technique. Heads is called. And it's tails. Now the Nipike, you want to toss? What are you going to do? Uh, we look to have a bat first. All right. So you batted first last time. So you're going to stick to that tactic? Yeah, we give it symbol. Just the same. Because the weed hasn't changed much. So, yeah. Okay. Well done, mate. Good luck in the final. Joshua Razu, quickly, mate. You bowling first. Happy with that? Uh, yes. I can do with that. We can still do it a bit. So, all good. All right. Well, good luck in the final. Thanks. So there you heard it. Now the Nipico has won the toss. We've got man of the match was opening 50 run partnership. Apo was a 50 run partnership and that was the big difference. So Well he's actually hit it quite well but he, he gave up on that ball. He was walking off the pitch. He thought that was out in a Banana Bay doctor. Probably the first time Simpson know better than the mighty Fado Panthers have been under pressure as we watch the replay in the first over. Well that, it's a poor ball. It was also a, leg stump, isn't it? Well he kept his shape and he and he swung through the ball and uh, it's got to come out with confidence. The two games in one day, one team's coming off yeah. straight out, straight out of the warm up as we see the replay yeah. here. Big bopper, big bopper, where's nice half volley and smack through the covers it's from Nala Nipico. Great hands. technique, great shot. He needs to, can't, if you've got no sweeper on your side, he's got to be bowling middle and leg. Can't give any width at all. But Nala does bat outside leg stump the spinners to open up that offside field. As you see, the mummers from and had the soccer goalkeeper attempt. But did he get enough on it? He's flying through the air. Tough to get cover at the Mac to catch up with that. That was four. Yeah. Really. We've got 14 off the over so far. I really like that it's cricket shots. Really like that it's cricket shots. I've been in last little year. Nothing silly required here from Nipico. Tosses it up and he just afternoon. And they'll be really enjoying this start from the Afira Sharks. Takes us through to 44 for no wicket. That's not um, dark clouds building up down there coming from Banana Bay, is it, Damo? Don't tell me. I'm not going to have any <laughs> rain, are we? Ah, uh, impossible. Length. That's the length you've got to hit bowling from the bet bar to Bellevue. He said just stops in the wicket. He threw his shot a bit too early. And we're one for 45 after four overs. Well, it's a great start. We wanted, to, well, he we had to play the shot. It was a shorter ball. He was always going to play shots, wasn't he? So I'm not going to, yeah. you just got to play. The, the fielders need, were out. He just so. needed to trust himself and yeah. get the ball clean. And we've lost two wickets in five deliveries now. And Mighty yeah. Fade, like they have done there, have been a the best team of the tournament so far. That's why they're in the grand final first yep. as so we watch the replay. He, yes, Samson goes across his crease. Oh, it's off the back of the bat. That's a great reaction from the high right. highlights reel, is it? What's his yeah. name? <laughs> Bottom edge onto his leg. It's popped up to the jar. The pitch and well, the, the strength of these Panthers knew that because they got the fine leg. They've yeah. got a square leg behind behind square, knowing that the the power is not in front of the wicket. It's going to be with with the pace of the ball behind the wicket. But I still like to see Jamal Vera go over covers. Even if even a shot out there is going to get at least two way up the the, the wicket. Oh, well. And that is plum, and that's some great umpiring <laughs> by Muriel yeah. Kenny again. Well done, Muriel Kenny, to give that one. She's a good young up and coming fit. On the highlights of this tournament, the offside. Yeah, and that's his go to Catchable there. High up, but take us eight off the over, take us four first, 79 off nine overs. They they need a fifth. After three overs, so they've got 50 in seven. They've got less than 50 in the last seven overs. That's where they've yeah. that's where they struggled, haven't they? Well, it's just. A, if it's 2020 cricket, you're happy with all those singles in there. You get a few more boundaries. If it's 50 over cricket, you're really happy with all the singles. 10-10 cricket. 10-10. You got to find. You got to find, find the right boundary regular. Somewhere. You got to find you the right regularly. And they haven't managed to do that. Well, whenever whenever the Fira Sharks have won a game, uh, Narling Nipico has batted a little bit longer. He's been yep. either not out or he scored a lot of runs. Obviously, and to answer your question from the last uh, last delivery, Shane. No, it is not Las Carlos Day. He's on his way. Yes, yes. Um, of Mark Dunn. Don't <laughs> underestimate the Mark Dunn's influence on this game out there. The team manager. Well, we still got some batting to come, and here is our bet bar to big bopper Wesley Virilulu well, coming in, and hasn't had a great. Stepped up, and they've got Simpson Obed to come, who's also stepped up. But the bet, the bet part of Big Bopper Wesley, who just hit that six, he's the key man. Jared needs to support him. He'll go for the slog sweep on the stumps. Really he just... well bowled. Really well bowled. Seven off the over. We're two for 15 after three, as opposed to 38. Number 38 from the Afira Sharks. Is this game on, Shane? Is it a talk, Damo, where they're spending the prize money tonight at the saloon bar? <laughs> I'll be with you boys, but at the moment, you're not going to have to be buying them for you. Because <laughs> yeah, the prize money looks like it's going to the Sharks. A ball, ball, really good slow And he ball. gets through the over. And we are three for 24. 
Two for 24 after, after four. four. You say it's still, you're only at, you're only at tens. And then, what's he got for us? Stump line and Ooh, he's, just played in, he's just played inside. He's just, as you say, Shane, you're bowling around the wicket, just pushing that ball just across him. The over. That Jaws music. <laughs> they, <laughs> they said at the start of the over, that partnership had to be broken for the Fear of Sharks to win. This is game on. We've got the, Fear, yeah, the Fear game on. We've got the, now. the Tanner shovel in Mucky McMillan's out there now. He'll be just looking to shovel to mid-wicket. That's it. Damon, his last five deliveries. So he's been on the ball. The few games he's only bowled one over, which I think is cru it's crucial. He's been he's a good, good young spinner. Of, can go both ways with the. Uh, Kendi Kenneth. There's still some hitting there. There's some big boys that can but hit a ball. There is. But what what I'll say, Damo, this morning that when the Sharks were sitting in the dugout previously, they've been all over the place. Browns cows. The guys not ready to play today. They look switched on. They're up <coughs> for the. Take I'm having a breath, Damo. <laughs> Give you some oxygen out here. We've change in the field. We've got deep cover going back and a wide mid on. Might, might win off coming back inside the circle here. Kendi Kenneth. And uh, mighty. Well, here's your man cap, mate. The non striker's not even in. Long yeah, he's got long levers. He's got little well, arms. Where's Kenny Tari? Kenny Tari can hit a, yeah, a big ball. Here we go. Nippy go in from the lagoon end. Charges in. That's a pace ball. Well, he's hit it in front he's of point. Yeah, it's four runs he's on the offside. He's hit it sweet. Possibly. Oh, great chase by Beth and Molly. Right to back. The slow it. outfield. Flicks it back in there. Oh, oh, it's a bad, terrible throw in. But the over, we go to a super over. Six sixes. Oh, Shane, grab the drinks, mate. I think that's what it is. We're going to get two wickets in this over, and we're going to have a, a huge celebration from the Inferior Sharks. And we know Apollini Stevens, he knows how to celebrate. Nico Unavalu. He knows how to celebrate. One more, is he? Of the series and player of the final. And they've been some fantastic sponsors to give the boys, you know, a, a bit of well deserved money they don't earn a lot being training hard and working full-time professional they don't do a lot they don't get a lot of money but they put a lot of passion and heart into their cricket and you've seen a lot of that and the last five weeks Damo thank you mate for your commentary you stepped up to the plate and you were biased for the Sharks but well done and congratulations on your victory well, I'd like to say I was biased from the start to the end yeah, like okay. it didn't change yeah, no you <laughs> didn't at all mate you didn't all you didn't. The one eye shark swimming in circles. Look, I'd like, to, I'd like to say thanks to everyone that's been watching and supporting out there. If you like us on Facebook, go and like us. Send us a note on Twitter. Tell us if you're a man cat. If you're not a man cat, <laughs> yeah, man go, cat. On, go on to the Emerging Cricket and uh, support us in our um, quest to win the um, best Guernsey of the... Best, ju best jersey, jersey in the, the world. world cricket. Yeah. yeah. Um, good shouts, Damo. I like bet Barta, super supporters of Vanuatu Cricket. A really great honour for me. And uh, also I would like to... Uh, Thank uh, Pet Father for this tournament and uh, just made other sponsors like uh, Holiday Inn and uh, the other sponsors. Yeah, and also I'd like to thank our manager Maktan for everything, and also a big thank you to the supporters who made this happen. Yeah, and thanks everyone. Thank you, thank you, darling. And uh, unless Shane Dietz wants to get on TV once again. That's all for today, and thank you everyone for coming. It's been a wonderful, wonderful experience over the last five weeks. Thank you all. Bye. So do join us for all the cricketing action and don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.